everybody, welcome back to Chomp on This. This week we are making cauliflower bacon mash. So many benefits to cauliflower. They're really loaded with vitamin C and they're super, super hearty and they're always in season. With these colors, there's orange and there's purple and there's green and there's white. It's like you can literally have cauliflower for every holiday, right? It could be for Christmas like snow and orange could be for Halloween, you know, color of a pumpkin and green could be for St. Pat's Day because it's green, <laughs> leprechauns, and purple could be for Unicorn Day. I don't think there's a unicorn day, but if you're in the food world, every day is a unicorn day. Mm -hmm. For the ingredient list, you need cauliflower, green onions, butter, bacon, shredded cheese, and then we're gonna have fresh garlic, about four to five cloves, and a little dash of salt, and a little dash of pepper. As always, the ingredients and all the measurements are gonna be right below in the description box, so make sure to use that as a quick reference, and also the recipe will be on eatinasian.com. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and cook the bacon. Remember when cooking bacon like this was a really big deal, because you don't have to stand over the stove, you don't have grease flying up at you, pow, 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 pow. Find the baking sheet with aluminum foil. Who doesn't love bacon? I'm just lining the bacon on top of the aluminum foil that's in the baking sheet. No splatter. And when you're finished, you take the bacon off of the aluminum foil, and then you wrap the aluminum foil up after it cools down, <laughs> and then you just throw it away. Now we're going to put it into the oven and then I'm going to turn the oven on to 400 and once it hits 400, then I'm gonna let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and then that's it. So what I did was I took a pan and I filled it up with water and I put in a little steamer rack. When you are buying a cauliflower, you wanna make sure there's no discolorations on it, no bruising, make sure to remove all of the extra stems. We are gonna cut this into fours and then we're gonna take the core out. There's a core, it, this core right here, and it is what, it holds all the little cauliflower flowers together. So we need to get rid of that stem. You can eat it, but we're not gonna add it to the mash. It's really fibrous, so we'll need to be cooked a little bit longer, but we're gonna save it for another day. <laughs> into fours. Getting a smaller knife, it makes it a little bit easier to work with. You see the big hearty stem in the middle that's holding all of the other pieces together? We're just gonna cut that off. Taking the stem out, your little cauliflower pieces will literally just fall right off. I'm gonna put it on high so the water starts to boil a bit and then I'm gonna bring it back down to medium and I'm gonna let this steam for about 20 minutes. Here's gonna chop up a few stems of the green onion. Someone gave me a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of heads of garlic the other day and so what I did was I want them to last a long time and I like to always have garlic accessible. You take all of the heads unwrap them from all of the little garlic paper and then put them in a dish. Yeah, put the date on it and stick them in the freezer. You have garlic forever. I'm just giving these a little bit of a rough chop. I don't mind chunks of the green onion or chunks of garlic or the chunks of bacon in my cauliflower. You know, you can even roast the garlic. That's gonna also add to the flavor of the cauliflower mash. Oh, I love the smell of fresh cut garlic. <laughs> Look at this beautiful bacon. So again, you guys, I put the bacon onto the baking sheet and then I put it into the oven and I let it preheat with the oven. I set it to 400 and then after it reached 400, I went ahead and cooked it an additional 10 minutes and you get yummy, delicious, crispy bacon every single time. All right, so I'm gonna chop up my bacon. Ha! Oh my gosh, so facial. <laughs> the cauliflower is completely steamed, but we do have to let it cool down just a little bit because we need it to dry out. I'm gonna make the cauliflower mash in the same pan. So I'm just gonna take it out, let it cool down for a minute, 
All right, you guys, I'm going to put the cauliflower back into the pan. We're gonna go ahead and add all of the garlic, a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, two tablespoons of butter. Once you make this, you'll be like, oh, I wanna add more cheese, or oh, I wanna add more chives. So this is just a good base. And then from there, you guys can add as much as you want. Go crazy with the bacon, go crazy with the butter. <laughs> <laughs> the fun part. Okay, now we're gonna take our immersion blender and we're gonna blend right in the pie. If you don't have an immersion blender, you guys can use a hand blender. Now I'm saving the bacon and the chives and the cheese for the very end. I'm basically pureeing the cauliflower and the salt and the pepper and the garlic and the butter. And I don't wanna puree the bacon <laughs> and, the, and the green onions or the cheese. Look, it's mashed potatoes! AKA cauliflower mash. <laughs> okay, I've got my serving dish. I wanna fold in a little bit of bacon and some of the chives. Definitely gonna want some more salt. Gently fold them in so you're not smushing them. I've plated the cauliflower mash. I wanna to top it off with some cheese the rest of the bacon, and the rest of the green onions. All right guys, there you have it, cauliflower bacon mash. My favorite part, my favorite part. <laughs> I want a little piece of bacon, I want a piece of green onion, and some cheese. It's like the perfect bite, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't expect the garlic to give it a little bit of a kick, but it definitely does. Oh, that would be double dipping. <laughs> this is delicious. Oh my God, you guys, you know what You know what else you could do with this? I have a big, chunky, a juicy, yummy steak. Lay this down, put the steak on top. That would, This would make a beautiful bed for that steak. But I love this side dish, you guys. Again, it's a great way to eat your veggies and it really does have the consistency of mashed potatoes and seriously, it sort of does taste like mashed potatoes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video everywhere. And if you make this dish, leave a comment below. And also, you know what, leave a comment if you have some other topping ideas that you wanna share with the rest of the viewers. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We'll see you next week. Ciao.